Hello, this will be a quick tutorial how to make this awesome shader one with the star. You can see we have uh, animated noise and animation on on the mesh in tessellation and some differences in the color itself. Okay, I'm getting to the point. We will make uh, another copy and here we want to make quickly our master material uh, star master okay now we want to open it and here we will make this awesome magic and we will start by adding the noise emission and of course change to unlit and we want to uh, add some tessellation later and of course this won't look good uh, and you can see there is no animation and the scale is uh, really really big we will change it something like this uh, we really need to look how it's look looking on the the mesh. And now it's it's still uh, it doesn't move, but when we change it uh, location, then it's moving. And this is because uh, the noise in Unreal is in three D and it have uh, this location okay and we will move it we want world location and add some movement to it with banner we'll speed like 50 okay and then we will need to Break it. It 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 won't uh, just work when we will add it like like right now. For sure, we get error. That's bad. We want to break break it to float, and then make float free. Connect this one. Now we won't get any problem. It will work perfectly. And you can see it's moving. Yes, it's animated. And next thing is to add uh, some different differences in color and all that stuff and we will start with another banner and this time we will use texture mm. texture sample and we want to get some smoke texture and tiled would be the best something like this just uh, some uh, clouds or something to get this differences in color connected and this one we don't want to have like uh, a big values here because it will look very strange when the different in color will uh, move like crazy Maybe something like this. Mm. Okay. Next, we want to multiply it and use mm, another parameter to control how much it's uh, giving uh, effect. Scalar parameter, and we will use uh, change its name to lightness difference ok 
okay of course uh, don't leave it as it is because it would uh, black out uh, all the shader just uh, give it some value okay and next thing we would like to uh, change uh, glow effect on it to control it yes we for for this thing we want to another scalar parameter and we will name it glow power mm, some value make it maybe 50 for start and of course multiply to add it and the one thing that is most uh, important is actual color and this we will get from vector parameter uh, we, we want a lot of uh, parameters to get uh, uh, possibility to change in an in instance mm, change the value maybe yellow okay that's me get and now we want to multiply with color and after that we want to multiply it again by glow power and we want to next thing is to connect the noise with our color and color difference and we use another multiply And now we will get this effect. And it's starting to looking uh, interesting. Okay, but it lacks of outer glow. And we will do it with Fresnel node, Fresnel. And if you click enable uh, real-time preview and start to preview it's from the start it's looking just okay and I think I will just uh, stop with uh, this one okay and of course another multiply to connect everything oh and this adds uh, some darker color to its side and that's good because it will make a lot of different uh, in the color and yes it's looking really nice darker lighter darker and light outer glow it's looking really interesting and next is and the last of course uh, is to add the information on animated information on the sides with desolation you could uh, really stop in this place uh, you can see how this shader is taking and it's quite cheap as you can see this one with desolation too but it's uh, more expensive in terms of uh, wireframe okay do it we will add this information and noise to our tessellation we will start from scalar parameter to control how much we want uh, of the tessellation we'll name it uh, tessellation multiplier okay and we want to multiply it first by uh, the smoke connected and then with noise another multiply 
okay and we want to add vertex normal to get it work uh, and sadly another multiplier and then we want to connect it to displacement now you can see we have a shape in it and it's pretty ready it's on two it's too small but now when we have uh, our master material done we can name all the information like tessellation noise press now and of course color oh it's done okay save it and now we'll make instance of it to have total control And now when we open it, we have those parameters and you can change all information fly or make maybe this red, really red glow effect, brightness difference. Tessellation multiplier Big difference is the scale of the noise itself But now it's it's looking uh, really interesting too And here it is it's done Okay, this is end of this uh, tutorial. Thanks for watching and of course subscribe. I will make more videos like this one. And bye bye.